this is like a cloud. But uh, of course, uh, from the beginning, I didn't think about I like to make a cloud. But uh, I was impressed by the beautiful surroundings of this Kenjiton garden, beautiful green. So try to create something melting into the green at the beginning, at the beginning. And uh, of course, the structure should be artificial. So I tried to create something between uh, architecture and the nature. And that, that kind of a concept has been my uh, interest, big interest in my career. So it is uh, really natural to push that kind of concept to push more forward for the future. So these kind of uh, uh, grids, artificial grids, is representing the architectural order. But uh, if it is quite many grids, then it is more organic and uh, soft. So the straight, strong order of the grids is changing to the soft, organic order. And then again, we have a nice mixture of the nature and the natural order and architectural order. And this transparency is quite important for me because you could feel the natures and the weathers, the different climate, uh, different climate, uh, even inside the, even from inside of the pavilion. So, yeah, through this, because of this grid, we could get such a, a transparency and a nice mixture of the nature and architecture, and something like that. Of course, this series of the Pavilion of Serpentine Gallery is a great, great, great history <laughs> for, for me, for younger generation, I think. And uh, yeah, we can say it's a kind of a dream of the younger architects to be, to be selected as an architect. So I was so excited about that, but at the same time, it's a kind of a big pressure. And, uh, but uh, yeah, of course, uh, I, I started to, to enjoy the whole situation and the whole challenge. And for me, a nice experience to do the project in abroad, in a, in a different situation than Japan. And finally, it's a public, public project. So we could expect many different kinds of people can see and can experience and can behave in, in here. So that's quite exciting point.